my experience with generics was maybe C++ with templates and probably the highest point there was when I was able to, as, as Ian alluded to before, it's Turing Complete, I was able to write a program using C++ templates that would decide whether a constant was a prime number or not. And the compiler would decide it at compile time. So that's not the kind of thing we would like to support. With respect to, you know, what what I'd like to see or not see is, honestly, I'm, I'm worried about the kind of code that people are going to write. I mean, there's no question about that. And we see some of the examples that people send us that cause crashes in the prototype, and they're just unbelievably convoluted and really, really hard to decipher. But as other people have pointed out, those people are really pushing the envelope. They're trying to just see what can I do with this thing. And I hope this is not going to be, you know, the kind of code that people are going to write down the road. I think one of the first things we need to do, if we have this for real, we need to come up with a kind of best practices guide that guides everybody a little bit as to how you should use generics and when you should use them and when you should not use them. Very similar to what we developed for, uh, you know, GoRoutines and channels. In the, in the early days of Go, everybody was using GoRoutines and channels for everything. And it took a little while for us to learn where it was appropriate and where it wasn't. 